is making a drainage, a drainage a priority with the approval of two major projects this week. News 10's Niels Arang reports what impacts people can expect. Mayor Freddie DeGord says he wants to make sure local government is doing everything it can to move water out of town. For him, that means even small victories could be big successes. It's an inch game. I'll spend the money for one inch because one inch could stop you building from flooding. The new Iberia City Council has hired engineers for two drainage improvement projects. The first along Glen, Evangeline, and Caroline Streets. The second for Weldon and Eastdale Streets to Jefferson Terrace. Residents who have suffered from flooding in those areas and beyond them say the improvements are long overdue. It's very serious. Uh, we fight it all the time. It depreciates the property values in that area. It stops the development in that area. Uh, and that's concerning f to all of us. I didn't want to wait. The city administration is being pulled in two directions, spend all the money that is now available in the city's drainage fund, or wait for the money to almost quadruple through a price match application they are making early next year. All of these projects are just the beginning because we have other projects planned. We'd like to wait to see if I take, we take one million and turn it into five. Either way, more drainage is coming. One business owner who has seen scary flooding on Jefferson Terrace agrees that may be the best approach. I do the same thing. If I can triple, quadruple my money by waiting a year, maybe that's the thing to do. Because the taxpayers, they don't have the taxes to pay for a $5 million project. New Iberia is also improving their flood response in the new budget by purchasing 50 barricades and also a four wheel drive truck for each shift. Within the police department. Reporting in New Iberia, Niels Rang, KLFY News 10.